Ready for a stock update? Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, this is Brian and I'm coming at you with another episode of the 125 gallon reef build. We're not going to really talk about building it tonight, but um, I'm going to give you kind of an update on what's been going on with stock in this tank. Um, as you can see, I still have the chocolate tang. I've decided for now to keep them. I may get rid of them. If you remember that uh, he was in there with that trigger, I got rid of the trigger. Uh, the trigger did nip at his tail, but it's been growing back nicely. Um, I've added this yellow tang. Been doing really good. I brought this pajama cardinal over from the bio cube and then I picked up this uh, pair that I really like of well they're not a confirmed pair but uh, two Ocellaris or not Ocellaris uh, two Wyoming white clownfish and uh, yeah they're doing really good in here I can't wait to get uh, something that they can host and I'd like to find a nice big anemone but for right now um, funds are a little tight so not going to be doing much as far as adding stock or corals or fish for that matter. Um, I brought over some of the, I, I fragged off some of the green trumpet coral from the cube and it's already been growing in nicely. Put a little frag over on this side as well. And then depending on when I put this video up versus um, I, got, I made another video talking about my heater, heaters in the tank. Um, I had a problem and a uh, heater failed and one of my two heaters failed so I, I redid that but because they failed the temperature got up to 88 degrees and I lost almost all the corals I had in here. Um, I also brought some green star polyps over from the cube and the idea is that they'll cover this entire rock. I may move it to the middle of the tank to get a little bit more light, but they finally just yesterday started opening up a little bit. So um, that shows you how long it takes. The, the heater accident was about a week ago now. Not quite, but five days at least. Um, in the meantime, what happened was I lost a nice hammer coral, a nice frog spawn, and two polyps off of the four heads that I bought of a candy cane that was a really cool candy cane and then a super awesome orange octospawn right here lost them all um, here's a cool Let's see if we can get this scarlet legged hermit colors are messing up things a little bit but so I was starting off adding corals and now I've lost pretty much everything oh one thing that did also survive is this uh, double toed stool leather up here. Um, it's just starting now to want to open back up, so they're pretty hardy, so I'm not too worried. That's going to that's gonna bounce back. But anyway, that's kind of what's been going on livestock wise. Uh, the cleanup crew I've talked about before. Not really much to cover there but they're all doing good, except uh, one of these turbo snails died. Something got it, I think. But yeah, um, other than that, things are going really good. Just working out uh, some details as far as uh, what I want to get next. Um, obviously, money's always a factor when you're trying to buy corals. So that's gonna be a big factor. I'll probably hold off for a few weeks or a few months before I add anything. But I would like to get, uh, I've got some fish in mind to stock this tank with, and I've got some more corals in mind. And we do have a frag swap here in Minnesota coming up here in November, so probably do a lot of saving for that. I went in the spring before I set this tank up, and the deals were just unbelievable at some of the places, so I'll be hitting that hard. But anyway, that's about it for now. Um, one thing I'd like to mention too, oh, uh, I don't want to get into a whole thing, but I also lost, I don't know if you guys, if you guys followed my videos on the Coral Life BioCube, I had this really big 
nice looking green Sinulara, and I moved it over, I fragged it, everything was fine. I had it out on the sand bed on a, on a piece of, I don't know what you call it, those things that clams come on. And uh, it got all attached and I mounted it up here. You can still see the piece back there. And uh, when the temperature went up, it, I lost it. It fell into piece. It wilted really bad before I realized what was going on and then it just kind of disintegrated into pieces. So anyway, that's a bummer. But uh, back to what I was saying, um, if you guys watch my channel on the cichlid side of things, you'll know that I do sell Southern Delight fish food now. And uh, my business is called Aquatic Support Systems and uh, we sell Southern Delight fish food in bulk. Um, I also have bottles available and I wanted to mention that because there is a really good marine mix uh, food available. It's a small pellet, 1.0 millimeters or one millimeter, I should say, it's called Marine Mix 1.0. And there's a couple other formulas too, the veggie krill, the nano krill that are good for uh, saltwater fish. So if you're looking to try a new pellet food, a new dry food, um, let me know. My email address will be below. You can contact me and I can get you prices um, and I can get you set up. Um, it's For saltwater people, it's probably not a, as well known of a brand, but it's called Southern Delight. And uh, those of us that are into the cichlid community, uh, it's, it's a really good fish food and people are really digging it on the freshwater side of things. So just want to throw that out there. Um, you can also go to my business page, Aquatic Support Systems, and purchase it there or contact me through there as well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'll try to get more videos on this tank as things progress, but for now there's really not a lot to talk about until I get more stock. And uh, those of you that are new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe so that you can see updates. <coughs> Excuse me. On this tank and all my other tanks. And until next time, take care. Goodbye.